So what's up, I'm Struggle Jennings, country artist, rapper, born and raised right here in Nashville. Here with my guy from Maple Motors. Well, he's bought a bunch of cars from us. How many yeah. to be exact? Six or seven. Six or I seven? I feel like I might be missing one, but. Well, tell me about some of your cars. I know. Yeah, so these are some of them out here. We've got the uh, beautiful 67 Impala. I drove by, saw it there and stopped and could not not buy it. I mean, it's immaculate. I haven't done anything to this one. Hey, I don't know. This no. one looks pretty good. Under no, the this one's beautiful. And I, this <laughs> this one I did, I got this one from you guys. I have put about uh, 25 in it yeah. because it was, he told me when I got it, he said the guy that had this did a lot of work, but he didn't finish it. Yeah. And um, so I just, you know, I hunted around, got all the uh, trim pieces that I needed. It was a stick when I bought it. So I made it automatic because this is one I just wanted to cruise. Of course, they told me it'd be blasphemy if I took this uh, oh, Hurst I out of there. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. I love yeah. this car. I'm not even a guy that normally drives sticks, but when I saw this and I was like, gosh, oh, I'll make this automatic. Jeff was like, ah, uh, you don't want to make this no. one automatic. You'd rather buy like, it right, cool. done as yeah, an automatic. Went, it's a cheaper I, car. Too. I went through one clutch. That's it. And uh, <laughs> But now I drive it so smoothly. It's, it's beautiful. I love it. And this is the 57 Bel Air that I got from y'all. Um, like I said, I put a little bit of money into it just because there were some things that I wanted. 57 was a super um, special car for me because uh, it was one of my grandfather's favorite cars. And um, I think a lot of people know who your grandfather is. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I made this one, I, I put the Cobra Kai in the seats. I was wondering about that. The reason I did is because when, uh, this car's name is Daniel's son which is, you know, of course, it wouldn't have been Cobra Kai, it would have been the Miyagi, yeah. you know, like from Karate Kid. But I put the Cobra Kai because it matched the interior so well. I named it Daniel Sun because when it had that shift rent, when I pulled off that lot, yeah, you know, like when <laughs> yeah. Mr. Miyagi lets him borrow the car <laughs> and he's driving, that's how I look pulling out of Maple Motors in this. That was great. So I named it Daniel Sun. I put the Cobra Kai in the seats to match it and I've got like my logo and the speaker. I put a vintage air in it. This is the only one that I've put a uh, Bluetooth, but I put that antique looking headset. This has got actual yeah. Bluetooth. The rest of them I've left the tape decks and stuff because I love the old school feel and I like being able to pop in the tape. And But this one, I, I want to blast that 50s music. Yeah. So nothing, <laughs> nothing's played in this but 50s. Yeah. And I know you love Monte Carlo. There's a big backstory to that. Yeah, so my wife wanted an 86 Monte Carlo SS. And I told Jeff, I said, my wife wants 86, it's her birth year. Her dad had one. She wants that um, cherry brandy wine or whatever color, that like dark cherry color. Yeah. And uh, so I told Jeff I wanted an 86 Monte Carlo. He calls me and goes, I got one up here for you, Struggle, get up here. I go up there, I sit in it, I fall in love with it. I start it up, I smell it. And he goes, <laughs> man, I messed up. And I'm like, what was wrong? He was like, it's an 84. I was like, man, she has to have 86. He was like, well, I'll find you 86. I was like, all right, cool. Well, I'm taking this one though. <laughs> now this is mine. I fell in love with it. So when I got in the car and I started it up and I smelt the motor and the seats and I just got this like rush of nostalgia that brought me back to when I was a kid. So I drove this every day to the studio and named my album Monte Carlo yeah. after this because that album was like a collection of the energy and the, the way that I felt driving this every day. And it was the inspiration behind it. The 67, me and my daughter just put out a song uh, called Never Doubted You. And we're riding around town in that car. I haven't put the 57 in there yet, but I've got the song. I just haven't shot it yet. I mean, it's just, you know, like with these old cars, man, just looking at the, the attention to detail, the Chevrolet on the handle, you know, the SS in the seat, it's just so many little things that they don't do with cars anymore. Nope. You know? And they uh, don't. And it's just like all the new cars are electronics. That's they're just pushing all that stuff. Yeah. And that's what's driving the price up. Yeah. So, and I bet you get tons of attention driving around in these. Listen, sure. I had a guy in a brand new Porsche Carrera about a month ago stop me at the gas station to tell me how amazing this car was. That's awesome. He's in a, he's he's in a, a Porsche. He's in a couple hundred thousand dollar car. Yeah. I mean, it was decked out. Um, and he stopped to tell me, and like I'm driving down the road in this one, people are honking, you know, uh, same with all of them, but this one just as much as the bright yellow. And you know, people keep saying, they say, oh, you love yellow cars. 
No, I would have never thought to buy a yellow car. Yeah. Ever. It's just I've came up there and they've stood out. And because I'd always envisioned a turquoise Bel Air mm -hmm. because that's like turquoise is my color anywhere. I don't wear a lot of turquoise jewelry. And that was kind of the classic 57, you know. Um, that's what I think of too. Red and white, the yeah. blue and white. Yeah. Um, but this one is just, its it was so beautiful and I love the interior. And, and that's probably going to be the only one that's yellow at the car show. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> one of my favorite cars of all time. Me too. 96 Impala. I've had two of them back in my day. I don't have one right I've now. Had, I've had two of them as well. And we actually have these wheels this for sale. Third. Yeah, y'all do. We, I got them from y'all. This is uh, my wife's car. The one we're Chevy guys yeah. and girls, period. She's got a 69 Chevelle that's in the shop right now. But That's what she was telling me, man. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be nice. We had talked about getting one of these forever, and uh, I was up at the lot, and asked jeff and he was like man i've got one in my personal that i just you know i don't know if i want to sell it though and i ended up talking him out of it and he mm. told me everything that was wrong with it took it right to the shop put a whole new suspension in it and fixed a few things in the motor and she loves it i mean it's beautiful well we get the opportunity to see nice cars like this but i do know they keep going up in price and yeah it's harder and harder every year well you know that's one of the things so like a lot of this a lot of these cars i bought when i'd come off a tour yeah and i'd have a little bit of extra money and it's like do you put it in the bank? Do you invest in, you know, what? I don't know a lot of my friends invest in, like, watches and stuff, but it's like, I love cars. Yep. Um, they're, they only go up in value. I mean, you have some, like, waves where a car will go up real high and then because it's popular at that mm -hmm. moment, then it might go down a little bit, but it's never drastic. Chevelle's did that 2020. They went through the roof. Yeah. And now they're leveled out, but they honestly, when they went way up, they only come down a little. Yeah. They didn't go down yeah, way. Well, I like, got an 85 C10 that at one point I, I bought it for like 12. Yeah. And at one point, I, two years ago, I could have got 45 for it. Them C10s at the show we were at last weekend? Yeah. $30,000, yeah. almost every single one of them yeah. they're going through. And I, I said, got a beautiful one. I just put a new motor in. I gave it to my son and he uh, blew the motor up just young not knowing how to take care of it so yeah. i put a new motor in it and um it'll be parked hey didn't you here. pop some motors when you were a kid oh yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it only popped uh, one i only yeah. popped one but after I've that i learned of, i did a couple man i was i was the worst when i was young well guys we do have these wheels available so if you want to get those call maple yeah. motors ask for jeff He'll and actually them. way cheaper than i could find them anywhere else yeah. and it was quick and he offered me all kinds of extra stuff and i know who to call when need i need something now, got a big story on this one here. Yeah. So this 70 El Camino, I named after Monte Carlo, my new album that drops this month, or in May. It's called El Camino. The story behind El Camino is, I was conceived in the back of an El Camino. <laughs> so my mom and my dad met at the West Nashville Skating Rink and uh, made me in the back of an El Camino. That's a story right there. So the, I named the album El Camino because, you know, it's really going back to my roots mm -hmm. and the album's super honest and takes you kind of through a journey of my early life and uh, where I am now. And um, So I actually picked this car up just to use it for a photo. Yeah. And when I pulled it off the lot, just the way it felt and the way I felt about it, I was like, you know what? I'm not one of those guys that puts cars in my videos and, and album covers that I don't own that slip to. Yeah. You know, so I bought it and it needs a little work, of course, right? I got a, Jeff gave me a great price because it needs some work, uh, which I just put a new carburetor and breather and stuff on it just because I decided to give this car away. Yeah. So I'm about to leave today to go on tour with Brandon Gilbert. Um, we're going to be out through March and then through all of April. And my favorite part about touring is the meet and greets. Mm -hmm. You know, people pay a hundred bucks to come backstage, meet me, get a signed picture, take a picture with me, and just hearing them tell me how uh, my music inspires them or gets them through their tough times, it's what keeps me going, you know. Uh, it makes me check my integrity, gives me a responsibility, gives me purpose, you know, as, a, as an artist and as a man to stay on the straight and narrow and to not let them down and to keep making great music. So I didn't have time to start another project, but I wanted a, I wanted the El Camino. And I thought, you know what? What better way to let this car not just sit in my driveway, but be a part of somebody else's life, give it to somebody that's gonna appreciate it for more than you know just, just a car, right? It's on the album cover, it's in all the promo. So I'm super excited. 
all they got to do is buy a meet and greet. Yeah. And it's a hundred bucks and they get entered. And then we literally just randomly pick one person out of the, and it's probably only going to be like three or 400 people that, that buy them. So, um, I'm not making any money off of it if, after I pay, you know, the company's fees and band fees and stuff for the meet and greets. Uh, I'll, I'll break even on it and somebody will get a great car. So that's great. I'm that's really excited about it. It's a way for me to be able to give back to my fans and a way to spread my love for cars. And, you know, of course, they'll get this 70 El Camino with that Maple Motors tag on the front of it, right? Oh, yeah. So hopefully they'll call you and get another one. I'll tell but you I what. I think it'll be great for somebody. Hopefully, whoever gets it puts a little TLC into it and, you know, can uh, fix it up a little bit or just enjoy it as is. That's the thing about a lot of these old school cars. Like you can, you can paint them and make them perfect and like brand new. But even if you don't, it's a piece of history. You know, I could own a Lamborghini or Rolls Royce. It's not the same at all. It's not the same, and it, it's like the way that I feel. Um, I feel centered and grounded driving these cars, yeah. right? Because it's like you know, a lot of a lot of times in life and with success and just our journeys, you know, there's a lot of things that can happen that can get you ungrounded or knock you off center but getting back in a, you know a piece of your childhood or getting back into an old car that just has that feeling um it'll bring you back to reality and to life and the, the simpler things you now you know. see why i like my job so much oh, drive yeah. every single one yeah even the ones that i don't want to drive in i'm driving them they non-stop attention for one doesn't stop it doesn't matter if it's a five thousand dollar car or a fifty thousand dollar car they're getting the same amount of attention people yeah. pull over on the side of the road just to talk and want to yep. want to talk cars yep. the car community is huge and all of us have the same thing in common we like cars yep <laughs> and then that other one over there is uh we won't show you too much of it because he just got hit by a deer the other day oh no yeah that's what the headline i just yeah. said that but that 2002 blazer my son had blown up the 85 and he was like, I want a car. And I'm like, well, I'm not giving you a car because I need you to pick up your brothers and sisters. I need you to go get groceries and stuff. Yeah. And I was just driving by and I was like, oh man, that two door blazer, 02, so cool. Yeah. I remember, you know, when they came out and so he didn't even really understand how cool it is, but now so many people stop him and talk about it and tell him that they love it. So he's- In high school, that was a thing. Uh, one of my buddies had, and he, he put two uh, kicker L7s oh, yeah. in the back. Yeah. That thing, ridiculous, just so ridiculous. Couldn't yeah. breathe in the back seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, that's loud, man. Yeah, so this is a little bit of my Maple Motors collection. I bet your neighbors trip out. They probably love I think it. The, I think the neighbors think I sell drugs. <laughs> Might. For sure. I mean, <laughs> you see, we got the, normally those are all in the driveway too, the his and hers Suburban and my brand new Silverado that normally has those big turquoise wheels on it. I do appreciate all your time. Yeah, We're going to get out of your hair today. You're getting ready to go on tour and yeah, stuff. I want yeah. you to relax before yeah, you leave. Man. Thanks again for your time, man. For sure. Thank awesome. y'all.